Hi, it's me Gina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about linking verbs, but this is only part one. However, let's study together what is linking verbs. So basically, linking verbs is to connect the subject with nouns, pronouns or also adjective. So example of linking verbs, it can be singular or plural. If singular, it will be is and was. And if it's plural, they are are and were. Linking verbs in Malay called kata pemeri. Kata pemeri. That's the formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation, kata pemeri. So, there's two kata pemeri in Malay, which is ialah and adalah. Before I forget, I have to remind here that for this video, I'm just gonna use the informal pronunciation. For those of you who not clear yet about pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. If you notice, if you really follow my videos for some time and if you watch most of them, you notice that is and are in the Malay sentence, I didn't really translate them. Very rare would translate them. So basically, I want to say here, yalah and adalah. The usage is focused on the former Malay sentence. It's not really for speaking. But somehow, not every is are in English, we translate that yalah adalah in Malay. Because it's really unnecessary and lengthy. In Malay, yalah adalah is too lengthy. So, for my Malay sentence, we do translate but not for every single English sentence, okay? For this video, I'm going to focus on yalah. So, how you want to use the word yalah? And I have to say here that its usage is uh, before the kata nama. You may be wondering what is kata nama. Because this is Malay channel, so I think I'll just use the word kata nama. But I give you example to make you understand. So, kata is word, nama is name. So, what it means by kata nama? So, kata nama is actually broad, okay? So, kata nama can be in terms of people, animal, things and also places. Let's see the first one, people. People in Malay is orang. So, under people, it can be mother, emak, clerk. Kerani and also police. Same Malay and also English pronunciation. And then the next one we have animals. So animals is binatang. So under animals we have chicken, ayam, cow, kerbau, elephant, gajah. I just named few examples. These are the few examples only to give you some idea what kata nama is and plants. Tumbuh tumbuhan. So, tumbuh-tumbuhan, tree, pokok, papaya, betik, grass, rumput. And things in Malay, barang. Then we have radio, same, pronunciation, English and Malay. House, rumah. And then places, places, tempat. So, examples of places, office, pejabat, island, pulau, school, sekolah. I hope you get clear idea when I say it's uh, the usage of ialah is before the kata nama. So, all of the above I mentioned to you, that's all kata nama. So, I give here first example, former Malay sentence, kereta yang dipandu oleh Encik Rama, itu ialah kereta Proton Wira. Kereta yang dipandu oleh Encik Rama itu ialah kereta Proton Wira. So, in English, the car driven by Mr. Rama is a Proton Wira. Kereta car yang that dipandu, pandu or when you add the prefix me, become memandu. So, memandu is drive or driving. But driven by, we say dipandu oleh. By is oleh. Encik Rama. Encik is Mr. Itu that ialah. Now come ialah. Which is is. Kereta car Proton Wira. Proton Wira is a local car. In English, the car driven by Mr. Rama is a Proton Wira. In Malay, it's kind of lengthy a bit. Like you repeat kereta and then kereta again. But 
just to make sure the sentence is clear. But in English, I think it's sufficient just to say the car driven by Mr. Rama is a proton vira. As I said, that's formal Malay sentence. That's really if you are reading some formal text or you are writing essay, formal one to hand in to teacher. Okay, another one which is I know many of you curious also. When you introduce yourself to people, then you say my name is Siti Lulu in Malay. I think my last video I just say nama saya and then Siti Lulu. I didn't even mention ialah my name. Nama saya name is nama. So, nama saya my name is ialah Siti Lulu. Nama saya ialah Siti Lulu. You may introduce yourself like that in class but it's so super formal, you know. But somehow if you are outside and you introduce yourself to someone, then it's sufficient you just say nama saya Siti Lulu without even mention that ialah. It's too lengthy and sounds so formal or sometimes we just keep the part nama saya and we just say our name. So, Siti Lulu. Some of you ask me, is it wrong? Why I didn't? Why don't even mention ialah? Nama saya ialah. You may mention but people will take you like, oh my god, so formal. Unless you are really in formal, super formal event. Then it's okay to introduce yourself like that. But for speaking outside with the local informal setting, just mention your name without that ialah. Ialah and adalah really... Sounds like you are making formal Malay essay. Anyway, we move on to the third example. Bapanya ialah seorang pegawai polis. This is formal Malay sentence. Bapanya ialah seorang pegawai polis. In English, his or her father is a police officer. So, bapa is father but it's a very formal word for father. Nya is refer to her or his. So, in Malay, we don't specify for gender. Nya is totally universal. So, bapanya can be his father. Bapanya also can be her father. Ialah is seorang. Orang is people. Se is satu or one. One people is not something like that. Seorang actually a collective noun for people. So, seorang pegawai polis. Pegawai is officer. Seorang pegawai polis. A police officer. That's basically what it means. I hope in this video you are clear about Yalah. So in the next video, we're gonna learn together about Adalah. I guess that's all my lesson for today. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more videos. Thank you very much for watching me and see you in the next lesson. Bye.